guys, it's Miss Art, and I am here with my daughter Sarah today, and she's going to show us how to start one of these post-it note or origami chains that are lots of fun, very good fidget, okay? So she always uses post-it notes, so if you got these laying around, you can use these, but if you don't, you can tear notebook paper into squares, and I've got that on a different video that you can watch, okay? So... She's going to show us step by step how she does it. This is going to be her over here, and this is going to be, be me copying her. Go. All right, so first what we're going to be doing is we are going to fold this in half. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it. That way this part is facing like out, like a bookish. And then we're going to fold it like a half a right angle triangle. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. And then we're going to flip it over, make sure the point is facing down, and the point down there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do again, we're going to do it again, but make sure it's going to be like a triangle from the side. That way, when you do it both again, it's going to create a diamond. Then, once you finish that, you're going to turn it over again. From the first triangle that you made, it's made itself a, tri a, a rhombus too. And then you're going to put your finger in it, and you're going to crease. I wiggle mine, that kind of helps make it form. So you got this kind of like a square that was bitten off, like a square pizza. I see a sailboat. Mm. Oh, sailboat. <laughs> square pizza <laughs> okay now what now to combine them once you have at least two or more you are going to get this open its wings and you are going to put this part in see so it's kind of like symmetrical just laying on top of each other then what you're going to do is make sure this wing is up facing up and this one is going to go in it like a fold oh. So what do you do if you mess up? <laughs> Redo it. Oh, okay. Fine. Oh, man. All right. Well, so I'll just do it. So one. that's the thing about origami is if it messes up, you just try again, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And then it's that wiggle, yes. wiggle, wiggle again. Okay. And there are those two pieces. Notebook paper is a lot thinner than post-it notes, so it will be easier to fall off. So, yeah, you put it in there. It can be tight if you want it to be like this, very nice and neat. And if you want it to be long and very flexible, you make it very flat, like keep this stuff up, like skinny, flat. And then you're just going to keep doing it and doing it more and more, and then you'll eventually get a ginormous snake like this. It can be a snake, worm, you can put eyes on it. It can be a necklace because you can connect them all together <laughs> in a circle. It can be a, a hand bracelet, all girls and all that. I just think it's kind of full to fidget with. True. It's like a fidget cube. Just. Yeah. All right. There you go, everybody.